Flex Wheeler at the 1993 Mr. Olympia versus Kevin Levroni at the 1995 Mr. Olympia, when they both finished second to Dorian Yates. Flex, Kevin, Sean Ray, and Nasser Sumbati are arguably the 90s greatest bodybuilders who never won the Olympia title. The front double biceps shows that they both have powerful arms, but I like flex biceps more, and I hope that he was synthol free that year. They both have wide chest, lats, and impressive V taper, but flex has the smaller waist. He also has the better separated quads, but Kevin has the better hamstrings, as we will see in the upcoming poses. Kevin used to hit a very impressive front lat spread, making use of his wide and dense lats. Flex front and rear lat spread poses were not that impressive. As you can see, Flex has the better ripped quads and the smaller waist. They both did not have the best chest out there, but both used to hit an impressive side chest pose, showing the best of their chest, shoulders and arms. It seems that Flex shows more details in his shoulders and arms, and was arguably better conditioned. Flex definitely wins the back double biceps. Kevin never convinced me in this pose. Flex has the more muscular, denser and the better conditioned lats. Notice the peak in his biceps and how his shoulders perfectly connect with his striated traps. Notice the shape of his rear delts and lower lats in comparison with Kevin, whose lats look shallow and do not pack the same amount of muscles. Kevin, however, has the better ripped hamstrings. Another back double biceps shot that shows the insane conditioning and the superior proportions and symmetry Flex has in his back. Kevin's back double biceps might be among his least impressive poses. I wish Flex had powerful hamstrings and glutes to complete the powerful package. As much as Flex was powerful in the back double biceps, he was weak in the rear lat spread. He might be more conditioned and showing more details, but Kevin dominates with his wider and denser lats, which look more proportional and symmetrical. He also has the better ripped hamstrings. They both used to hit a very impressive side triceps, making use of their massive and ripped triceps. Unfortunately, this is the only shot available of high quality from these two contests. It does not show much, but still gives us an idea about their overall conditioning. Flex wins the abs and thighs. He arguably had among the best abs in the 90s era. His midsection was ripped along with a small waist that added to his overall aesthetics. He may not have the greatest thighs and he definitely had a problem with his hamstrings as he himself admitted that, but his quads were insanely ripped and separated with visible striations. Kevin used to hit among the greatest most muscular poses ever, making use of his pyramid-like traps and phenomenal shoulders. I think Chris Cormier once said that when Kevin hits this pose, you feel like his shoulders are coming at you. His pose was overwhelming and truly unmatched. Flex also used to hit a very impressive pose, making use of his ripped and conditioned chest, shoulders and arms. He shows more details, but lacks Kevin's size and density in the shoulders and arms. Flex may look more aesthetic and conditioned, but Kevin's sheer size and density in the shoulders and arms were too much for Flex to match. So this time I'm not going to pick the winner in every single pose as usual, and I'll leave that for you to decide who would win this matchup. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. Thanks for watching, and have a nice one.